Welcome back to Review Me Please. I'm Michael. And I'm PJ, and it's time to make some cocktails for you. That's right. So we've got another cocktail from Vinyl Me Please. This month's record is Beach House Devotion, and we are making the Gila. Gila. So what's in the Gila? Well, it's a gin-based cocktail. It also includes lemon juice, grapefruit juice, and honey syrup. Sounds lovely. Mm, doesn't it? Well, let's find out when we make ourselves a Gila. 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 Just like the monster. The Gila monster! The Gila monster! Fine, it's the Gila monster. That's right. So let's make a Gila monster. Can't believe you're a Jif. Oh. Oh! Oh! Can't believe it. Oh! Alright, PJ, so how do we make a Gila? Well, first we have to find our handy cocktail shaker okay. strainer and fill it with everything and strain it. That's the only real instructions to this one. Oh, well tell me what I need to do. I'm ready to learn. Okay, well first we're gonna need to get the gin and we're gonna have to pour it into this shaker. So let's do that right okay. here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Looks like gin. It smells like gin. Well, you know, gin usually does. All right, so next we're gonna need to get some juice out of this lemon. Approximately one quarter ounce per cocktail. I'm glad I brought my juicing crowbar. Oh, good. There, nice work. Here, let's squeeze some of these in. Okay. Next, we'll need to get some juice out of this grapefruit. Again, about a quarter ounce per cocktail. Oh, I brought my juicing spanner. Oh, good. Very nice. Well. All right, so uh, we need to add the honey. That's right, about a half ounce each. For this one, I have an actual spoon. Oh, well that's good. So now we have all the ingredients combined into this lovely shaker here. We're gonna need to shake it up real, real good. Ooh, I've got a pink can shaker. Oh, good. Well, of my own design. His own design. I got a little, uh, got a little hand there. <sighs> Machine broke. <clears throat> but it broke in the line of duty. We salute you, paint can machine. Well, next we're gonna have to strain it into a chilled glass. Mm -hmm. And I happen to know a neat little trick for those of you at home who might not have heard this before. Right. What you do is you grab an ice cube, you put it in each glass, then you put them in the microwave mm -hmm. and you set it to negative power, which will remove all the microwaves from the glass, thus chilling the glass down to a frosty temperature. The ice cube's just for show. Mm. Now be sure that you push power so many times it actually goes all the way around to the negatives. So now that we have our chilled glasses fresh mm -hmm. from the microwave, we're just gonna pour this liquid in there, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty glorious, mm. I think. That's right, can I get it right? Stop, it's already dead. <laughs> and that, Michael, is how you make a Gila. But what of Garnish Man? Ah, yes, garnish. I almost forgot. It is recommended that we garnish with uh, some grapefruit rind, so that's what I'm just gonna do here. Let's do a little quick peel. Yeah. Of our friend here from the grapefruit. Yeah. Little peels of grapefruit there. And then, yeah. Nice. There you are. There's one there. That's nice. terrible looking. Uh, yeah. And here's another one. Ready? Here we go. We're just gonna do that. I would say peel it away from you. I think that helps. Really? Yeah. It helps me anyway. Here we go. There you go. There that is. That's a, that's a thing. Well, there's one thing left to do, my friend. Ah, uh, yes, we should try the cocktail. We should indeed. Here's to the Gila and Beach House's devotion. Cheers. Mmm. Hmm. Well, you're gonna have to tune in next time to see what we think of the cocktail, as well as Beach House's devotion and the entire Review Me Please package. That's right. So that ends this episode of Review Me Please. I've been Michael. And I've been PJ. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, keep, keep it, it spinning. spinning. You mutilated that grapefruit.
I'm, you're the one who used the grapefruit spanner. That was a careful precision maneuver, sir. When I last saw that grapefruit, it was intact, relatively. <laughs>